what's up y'all um it's been a few days i guess i don't remember the last time i did a what's up y'all but as is usual i'm at home in my self-quarantine um self-isolation uh, although my partner is here and i recognize that yikes because they still have to go to work and um you know all of the ways, right? Like all of the ways in which we are just in a really contradictory and difficult time right now. Um, but what was present for me, what's been present for me right now, right, is this uh, sort of, I feel like this time is is such a great unveiling. Um, I think about um, when my mother passed away and how the, how everything felt Technicolor, like everything was so acute, right? Um, all physical sensation was so acute. All emotional sensation was so acute. And I felt like I could see everything on this plane and on the next. And I feel like there is a way in which we are in that right now. And it's fascinating to me. Um, it's fascinating to me to watch the illusion fall away because that really is where we are right now right is watching the illusion the illusion of individualism the illusion of capitalism the illusion of you know sort of self um self aggrandizement and uh um selfishness right the illusion of um the illusion of disconnection fall away. And, you, you know, capitalism in what I've always called diabil diabolical brilliance, because I think, you know, I think we underestimate the system when we, when we just feel like this system is dumb. Like, it's actually not. <laughs> um, you know, it's intentional and well thought out. It's not, and, and it's not smarter than us because we made it. We. And I, say, and I always say we um, because it is important for us to be in acknowledgement of our complicity. Guess what? We made the system of ableism right now that is valued um, able bodies more than disabled bodies and chronically ill bodies. And so consequently, we as an entire system, right? Like we can totally just be like, oh, you know, Trump, uh, you know, completely dismantled the, you know, pandemic section of the CDC. Absolutely. But also, but and also, when is the last time you advocated on behalf of the needs of disabled people on a structural or systemic level? When have you followed the leadership guidance and um, uh, 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 innovation of disabled folks? Don't get it twisted. Just six months ago, we was over here telling disabled people, fuck the straws you need, right? So now we're in a global pandemic with the issues of chronic illness and, um, you know, and health and safety literally impacting the entire world. Uh, and we are forced to think about a life um, that more often than not collectively we've maligned. And I think we have to be honest about that, right? And that that is true across the board at every intersection of privilege that we hold. Um, and so what is happening in this moment is that all of the lies that oppression and injustice are built on are being absolutely um, challenged and, and forced to be looked at as the utter fiction um, that they are, right? You was never alone. It, you was never surviving individually. <laughs> you was never immune from the issues that impact disabled and chronically ill people. You was never immune to the issues that impact black and brown and impoverished communities. You was never, um, you know, uh, isolated from the experiences of doctors not believing you like fat people experience. You was never, <laughs> you know, let me, let me be clear. You were never isolated from the things that all of us have lived with at 
any particular axis of oppression or marginalization. Your, your privilege was always temporary, boo. It was always temporary. And it's temporary today, which is why every great revolutionary movement thinker across whatever modality you can think of has always said our liberation is bound up together. Lila Watson said it and James Baldwin said it and Audre Lorde said it and Grace Lee Boggs said it and you, literally and Malcolm X said it and Martin Luther King said it and Jesus said it and Buddha said it literally you're not going to find not one person people quote in these streets who hasn't said that and so what we are being given in this moment is the grand unveiling of our interconnectedness the profound and in technicolor example of the necessity of our care for one another. And, and, and the, what I think I find the most fascinating about it is that it's being illustrated to us through isolation. It's like, oh, this thing you, this thing you didn't even pay attention that you were doing, we're going to force you to do it so that you feel what it is that you've been inflicting on yourself and inflicting on others, both in an individual, interpersonal, and structural and systemic way. Y'all going to learn today. We going to learn today. And, you know, we have an opportunity. I mean, I don't think we actually have a choice. Uh, watching the way in which the systems of capitalism can't withstand this. They can't withstand everything having to shut down and everybody going home. The only thing that will sustain that is collective care. You know, there's nothing else that could work. So capitalism unto itself is a structure that can't withstand global epidemic. We're watching it. I mean, global pandemic. We're watching it in real time. And so what we have in this moment is an opportunity to do something different, to be something different. If ever there were a time to lean into our liberatory imaginations and take the blueprints of, of our visionaries, of our folks who have been telling you what it was going to be like to get through this, Mother Octavia Butler, um, Ursula Le Guin, uh, you know, our, our prophets, our people who see who think in the future time, you know, um, it's time, it's time to, it's time to vision. And we don't have nothing but time. People just at home twiddling thumbs, masturbating and watching Netflix. It's a great time. That smells garlicky. <laughs> it's a great time to think about what the future is going to look like. What a radical love, a liberatory, future where we don't live in the illusion of disconnection and individualism anymore. We've been asked to give up that illusion. We're being forced to give it up. Um, it's a perfect time to think about what we want to grow in its place. I hope it's radical love. Wishing you all such peace, ease, a sense of safety, a sense of divine guidance in this particular time. It is already in you. We already know. We know it's time. And it's already in us to create what is next. As Charles Eisenstein calls the more beautiful world our hearts know is possible.